and I guess at one point you were actually a singer, and and you almost got signed, but they ended up going with Keith Sweat instead. Oh yeah, you've been doing your research. Right, I gotta watch you, man. We, yep, need some helicopters <laughs> on my crib. So. Um, yeah, so um, we did all, a lot of this is docu documented in my upcoming book, um, which is not so much a uh, autobiography more than just a um, this shameless plug, but so what? Um, it's a it's a writing on um, creative writing and poetic license in particular. Um, so, man, I lost. That was too many branches yeah, to that. The whole the whole, uh, the whole singer thing. They uh, yeah, with yeah. Keith, Keith Sweat. Which, oh, by yeah. the way, is not, you know, I mean, you can't be too bad at that. <laughs> Keith no. Sweat went on to be a legend in the R&B world. So clearly yeah. they made a pretty good choice for that particular signing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and that, that that's, um, that's testament to, like, doing what you choose. And, you know, something, something can happen that will be automatic success for you, but it doesn't mean that that's what you choose that's going to make you happy. Um, so... I was, you know, I, I sang and, you know, I rhymed. So, and I, I associated both in, you know, Vincent Davis, who is the founder of um, Ventertainment, mm -hmm. who put out um, Joe Ski Loves, Pee Wee Herman. Oh, right. Yeah. So, uh, I guess he was about to be in cahoots with a major label, um, namely uh, EMI, which I found out later. And... I took a meeting with uh, him and Scott Folks, who later, who I later found out was the um, head of A&R, you know, for urban music, which they called black music back then, um, for EMI. Um, they were telling me about, uh, you know, a partnership that they were about to undergo and they listened to, they listened to um, something that myself and uh, Fresh Gordon had put together called um, The Mission. And it was sort of like a medley of two or three songs. And, you know, within it, I'm doing a lot of singing and also rhyming, like singing, rhyming, singing, rhyming. So long story short, too late for that. Um, they liked everything, but they were more interested in me as a singer, which I almost found insulting because of where I put myself, you know, on a lyrical level is like, I found that insulting. But when I looked at it, I was like, well, regardless of what it is, it is what it is. And um, I was like, no thanks. So later on, I found that um, they assigned Keith Sweat and then uh, about a year or two later, um, I take a meeting at EMI and I'm meeting with Scott Folks, who I then found out was head of A&R, you know, for urban music at EMI. We did the meeting. I did the deal. Um, they told me the offer was, you know, it was a nice number. It was $275,000, which at the time was the biggest rapper deal ever. Ever. At the time. Mm hmm so, I didn't want to say that. But, well, know. hey, I mean, it's part of history now. It is what it is. True, true. 